Hey guys, welcome to Lisa's Spirit Readings. Uh, welcome in if you've never been here. If you have, uh, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus. It's been a little minute since I've been on YouTube. Um, been busy with some training. It's taken up time in the evenings um, and part of my night, actually. So uh, I've just been really busy with that, and it's, it, it was a bit exhausting. Anyhow, getting back, you know, being more balanced here, uh, and I really wanted to get on just because I haven't been here for two or three weeks. So anyhow... This is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. This won't resonate for all of you. Okay, so just take what you can and leave the rest. Also, my readings are timeless. They will find you when uh, they're meant to find you. Oh, I know the other reason why I wasn't here before my training was actually my thumb. I had a little cortisone shot, doing much better. So anyhow, back to your reading. So let's see what we have for you Taurus hope everybody's doing well okay let's see what we got spirit messages for Taurus messages for Taurus I'm gonna look into your past uh, present uh, and future energies as well by the way I think I forgot to say that before We got three reverse cards so far. Actually, four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got some pentacles here in your past. Messages for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? Center of your reading, current energy, five of wands. Some of you may be. Having some conflicts with someone. You've got the Ace of Cups here in your recent past. Okay, I think that was in reverse. Let me get one more. Oh, lovers in reverse. Ooh. You guys got a lot of reversals. Overall energy, okay, two of wands, looking towards the future, planning. Uh, next to that, temperance. So spirit may be saying, um, you know, things happen in divide, divine timing at the right time. Uh, be patient a little longer, temperance is you know, forgiveness, patience, divine timing. Um, Sagittarius energy. Let's see what else we get. Your recent past. So you've got eight of pentacles in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse, the ace of cups. Okay. So these pentacles in reverse, it's it's either speaking about a job, okay, that was not going well, finances, for some of you, maybe not going well. Pentacles also talk about stability. This here, this ten of pentacles, is one of my cards for a, a stable, secure home life, okay? Can involve a relationship. Um, this is also in reverse. So there's something that was not, you know, stable in your life. Something was not feeling great. Something was, you know, maybe if there's somebody else involved, they weren't putting in enough effort or enough time. But then you have the Ace of Cups. Uh, this has to do with emotions, um, how you're feeling emotionally uh, could involve a relationship if you've met somebody recently okay started maybe a new relationship on a new emotional level all right current energy five of cups in reverse 
Uh, that's getting over some regret, some type of emotional pain, um, heartache type of energy. Looks like you're trying to kind of pull yourself out of that right now. Um, some of you, be careful, you might be you might be secluding yourself too much, okay? Uh, there could be, as I said before, some kind of conflict in your life, some situation where it, it's like I get the feeling that you're just, it's kind of like you've had enough of that situation. Um, it's brought you some pain, okay? Whatever that relates to. But then you have the hermit in reverse here, okay? So when the hermit, this is Virgo energy. Um, you know, a hermit is it's going within, okay? Trying to kind of listen to your inner guidance. Um, some solitude. When it's in reverse, it can be saying that you're too secluded, okay? You're too far removed from people or too far removed from this situation, okay, that's going on. This is your current energy here. Future energy, seven of swords in reverse, could be some, the ending of deception or maybe finding out perhaps somebody was deceiving you or trying to get away with something. Chariot in reverse, this is the card of cancer. Um, it's kind of like something is coming to an end here or a halt, not necessarily an end, but the energy is stopping here, okay, for some reason. And it's coming in with the lovers in reverse. So this is some kind of very close relationship, partnership coming to an end here, okay? Um, especially with the chariot in reverse as well as the seven of swords in reverse. Uh, let me start to clarify here and see what we, see what else we get. So let's start with a recent pass and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles. Tower in reverse. <clears throat> Could have been a work situation gone wrong, okay? We've got Three of Pentacles, which can be about, it can be friendship, can be work-related, uh, coming in with the tower in reverse. Um, something in the situation changed. Knight of Swords in reverse. Air energy. Um, somebody may have been dishonest in this situation okay uh there could have been you and two other people in this situation or three of uh, three people uh minus you in this situation here um somebody quit putting in the effort that was necessary in this situation okay uh, whether it was you or someone else, but it feels like somebody stopped doing something they were they should have been doing or that was expected of them, you know, to be done. And I think it caused a lot of problems. Uh, it brought about some change, okay? Let me go down to this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here, please? Remember, this one's in reverse. This is that instability could be caused from this the pre you know this situation I was just talking about here. Five of Wands. Now that one's in reverse. So Five of Wands again. Second time in your reading. Seven of Swords in reverse again. You've already got it here. That's interesting. Okay, there was some kind of. deception or betrayal that I feel came to light. Somebody you found out about it, somebody else found out. And six of swords. So 
it's it it feels like this person wasn't putting in the effort and it was causing just a ton a ton of problems fighting you know arguments um maybe some competition in some way and they weren't honest they were not honest okay as well maybe they said like oh yeah i'm gonna do that or i'm doing that but really they weren't um and i feel like you re you removed yourself from this situation okay we've got the six of swords here that's moving away from something kind of chaotic into an energy that's more calm and peaceful okay so it's kind of like you removed yourself from the situation you got away from it kind of like okay I'm, i've had it um i'm gonna get away from this don't want to deal with it anymore okay let's see why the ace of cups is here as well uh why is the ace of cups here nine of cups you could have met somebody recently that's making you very happy emotionally um nine of cups emotional fulfillment ace of pentacles it's another ace it's another new beginning okay um get one more here queen of wands fire energy somebody you could have met somebody or somebody may have helped you through this situation here. Um, maybe, you know, it could be a new relationship. Uh, I feel if it is, I feel like you would have started out perhaps as friends. Um, and then they kind of helped you through this situation or transition that you went through when you kind of walked away from that. And then it kind of brought you together is how I feel with this. They could be a fire sign. I've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Does not have to be. This could also just be your energy because after moving away from that crap, <laughs> I'm just going to call it crap. Um, after getting out of that chaos, it's like, it's almost like a weight was lifted from your shoulders okay you felt lighter you felt better emotionally happier emotionally and then you've also got this ace of pentacles which is that something new okay aces are something new a new beginning so you have the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles okay this is emotional energy this is effort okay this is somebody kind of offering this like i want to do this with you for you okay I offer you this nine of cups that's you know emotional fulfillment this could be your energy just saying that you have more energy now in general you're more confident okay after coming out of this situation here so the person could be a fire sign or this could just speak to to how you felt after moving out of that situation okay i want to say it involves somebody else you met somebody a friend that helped you through this situation uh, that type of thing let's go into your current energy I have a cups in reverse that's like getting over that you know there's re there's remorse and regret you've been it's kind of like lift trying to lift off this burden okay um, that I feel is just leftover residual from this past situation nine of Pentacles in reverse yeah so it may have thrown you off a little bit uh, let me get two more. You know, fortune in reverse. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're doing much better now. Um, I, I, you know, it took you a minute to kind of rebalance your energy after coming through that situation. If you did meet a person recently or this person helped you through that um it's kind of like you've come out of it stronger here we have another wand which is more fire energy okay um 
and now it's kind of like having this um you know this fighting energy like i can do this i you know i'm better now i'm good my energy levels back you know it's not being drained from me like it was before okay but you do have this five of wands sitting right in the middle here let's see why that's here why is this five of wands here oh almost lost it seven of cups okay you may be conflicted with some kind of choices you feel you need to make ten of cups oh, okay so ten of cups there's a little relationship energy there so you're going from nine of cups over here in your recent past to ten of cups in your current energy but you also have five of wands some conflict seven of cups um, choices illusions confusion I feel like you're confused about some of the choices Maybe you're confused about uh, if this does involve someone you met uh, or, you know, maybe you already knew them, but maybe they want to move the relationship to, to some other level. Look, Ace of Cups for the second time. There's that kind of love offering, and it's coming in here with the Ten of Cups, but it's also here with the Seven of Cups, okay? Okay. So like I said, the Seven of Cups is kind of like, wow, I've got this option, I've got that option, I don't really know, you know, I'm kind of conflicted. Um, I feel like now that this, this Five of Wands here, this conflict, I feel that's internal, okay, that's your internal conflict, um, trying to make a decision. I feel like it relates to a relationship. Maybe the other person, like I said, wants to, you know, they want to change the relationship in some way. And maybe you don't, you don't know if you're ready or you don't know if you want to. You realize you do have other options, okay, at the same time. So let's see why this hermit's here in reverse. Maybe it's relating to this decision, you know, maybe you kind of took a step back and said, well, you know, I need to like really think about this and kind of remove myself a bit. Why is this hermit here, please, spirit? Five of cups. There's a five second time for that one. See, there's that regret and remorse again. Um, I feel like it's kind of like you're saying like, well, if I don't do this, if I don't choose the right thing, I'm going to regret it. Um, two of swords in yeah, two of swords in reverse. You're you're going to you will make up your mind. Let me get one more. You're going to come to that decision soon. Start one more, please, regarding this. Sun in reverse. Yeah. You're going to make a decision right now. I feel like it's kind of weighing heavy on your mind, okay? Um, you're kind of worried about making the right decision, okay? Uh, doing the right thing or making the right decision. Okay, let's go to your future energy. Seven of Swords in reverse. The chariot in reverse. The lovers in reverse. <laughs> okay. Seven of Swords, why are you here? Why are you here in reverse? What's going on? Ace of Swords. That is the Sword of Truth. So that person trying to get away with something, it's not going to work. King. Oh, now you've got the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, more love energy. There's like... All this emotional, you know, feelings of love in your reading right now. Something, something's going on. Eight of Pentacles, that's, again, now it's in the upright, putting in the work. So I feel like this King of Cups could be the person that maybe 
you either thought they were deceiving you or trying to get away with something or they were okay I feel like they will come to you and want to tell you the truth because we have the ace of swords here and it's coming in with this king of cups okay he's the king of love um this ace of swords that's it's about truth telling the truth okay uh this ace of sword just cutting through that truth okay cutting through the crap or cutting to the truth i should say and this king of cups kind of offering all of this love all right king of cups are they're very balanced emotionally they don't always show it outwardly okay but they are very balanced emotionally i feel like this particular person is going to come to you and say there's something i need to tell you and i think they're going to tell you okay uh and an eight of pentacles again that's kind of putting in the work okay putting in a lot of effort putting in a lot of time i feel like they're going to say to you maybe they'll confess something they did or you know to that something to that effect and i feel like they're going to say like i'm i'll i'll do the work okay i'll do the work necessary to prove this to you okay it's kind of like that type of energy so uh, let's see why the chariot's in reverse why is the chariot why is the chariot in reverse that's more water energy coming in with the king of cups why is the chariot okay we got two here five of pentacles in reverse three of swords oh dear let me get one more page of swords three of swords can be heartache okay can be third party i don't think so though in this case Five of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you may have a fear at this point of this person hurting you, okay, of maybe abandoning you. And I feel like the chariot's here in reverse because it's kind of, you know, the chariot in reverse is like a dead halt, like, oop. You know it's, it's like you stopping your energy from this person um maybe not communicating with them not wanting to communicate with them at the time uh we've got page of swords in reverse here coming in with this three of swords and this is all happening after i feel this person will have something to say to you okay so there's some kind of truth they're going to tell you but then after this we have this lovers in reverse this is gemini energy uh let's see why this is here why is the lovers here please king of pentacles in reverse two more Four of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. King of Pentacles, that's your energy. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, that's that out of balance Pentacle energy again, or instability. And then Four of Pentacles is kind of, it's hanging on too tightly. I don't necessarily know if this is actually a, a relationship that will end. I think it's more of a, it's not that it's going to end, but it's not necessarily going to push forward very far, okay? Because I think that you're still going to have some some kind of issues with trusting this person in some way um eight of wands you will be 
still communicating with them, okay? Um, and I feel like I need to say to you, if you have fears surrounding this potential relationship or relationship that you're in already, communicate that to this person. Don't keep it to yourself. You know, don't be like, oh, God, I'm just so afraid that, you know. I feel like spirit is wanting me to say, make sure you express those feelings to the other person. That's a very strong message I'm getting for some stranger. I don't know. You know, it's, I don't know. I'm just saying what I'm supposed to say. So um doesn't need to make sense for me. It needs to make sense for you. If it does, if it resonates, great. Okay. Let's get some advice from Spirit, okay? Regarding this situation. Spirit, what advice do you have for Taurus? What advice do you have? Okay, Six of Wands, that's victory. Okay, it's recognition. Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Death card is Scorpio energy. Both of these cards are about change. Lots of change. You're gonna have you're gonna be going through lots of changes. Okay. What else, Spirit? Do you have anything else? Any more advice for Taurus? Okay, two came out at once, so let me take these. Nope, three. Take that back. Four cups in reverse. Okay. There may be something in your face that you're not seeing clearly, okay? You're not seeing the whole picture. Make sure you're seeing everything. Knight of Cups in reverse. This here, this Knight of Cups, he's different from that King of Cups. Because this Knight will kind of romance you, wine and dine you, tell you what you want to hear, and then disappear, okay? Um, this would be a younger person, not as stable as a king of cups, okay, who's got their stuff together. Okay, just an FYI, that could be another person that you already know. High Priestess, use your intuition with whatever it is. This is one of my favorite cards in the tarot deck, if not my absolute favorite. Um, because intuition will never lead you in the wrong direction okay whatever this whatever it pertains to whatever the situation okay um ask yourself the question whatever it is that you're wondering um whatever the first thing you hear in your head is and i'm not talking about hearing it you know outside of you in your ear or anything just a thought um similar to like oh should i mow the lawn today you know, that kind of thing. Go with your first, the first board that pops into your head. Yes or no. Okay, it's the easiest way to do it if you're just starting to do that. Any kind of gut feeling, anything that like, oh, that just seems off to me. Trust that. Okay. Okay. I hope this was helpful for some of you. If it did, feel free to leave a comment down below. I would appreciate any likes and any new subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.